face. <laughs> and I thought life was over. I feel just unstoppable when I've got my makeup on, you know? I'm just Tanya. Hello everyone, this is Burned Beauty 2018. Um, of course, I'm starting by looking at my brows. This is how I start my face every day to see if I need to add any um, glue because I simply use a little bit of Cardani Lash Glue. If anything is popping up, I go ahead and glue it. But what I wanna to talk to y'all about today and what we're gonna to do today is some foundation but also i want to talk about the question that i get a lot how do you cover up your scars uh, oh grasshopper we don't cover up our scars we can blur them pardon me we can blur them and we can balance our skin tone and we can make it where they don't draw the eye. And that's the main thing that we want to do with our um, scars. You know, we can't, I'm sorry, I've got a new, I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I've got a new vanity and it's totally awesome, but I'm getting used to it, like the height of it and everything. But um, we don't cover up our scars. I've already put on my fat water, which is a moisturizer. I put that on. I have some in the bathroom that I put on right out of the shower so that I can catch the moisture from, from the water. And then I use Hydrovisor because we're trying to smooth skin. So the more plump and moisturized that it is, the smoother your makeup is. And that is true whether you have scars or not. Um, it's one of the beauties of, um, you know, using your moisturizer, Hydrovisor by Fenty Beauty. I'll put links into everything when I do the video. So you know what I'm using, so don't worry about that. But I did start out of the shower with Fenty Fat Water. They also make a milky version of this now that I think is even more moisturizing if you've got extremely dry skin. And then this is Fenty Hydrovisor, refillable, which is totally cool, like all our products. You just get the refill when you need it. But start with this under your makeup. Let it sit a moment. If you're doing your makeup with me today, while I'm letting that sit, I'm gonna show you the products that I'm gonna use for the blurring effect for the foundation. Um, number one is Tula Skincare. Uh, what is this called? Face filter. <laughs> and this is a blurring primer. I have mine in, um, original will be a link I just try to use the original but it comes in different shades too like light medium and dark so Tula blurring skin primer is amazing um, today we're going to use NARS foundation just NARS radiant foundation and um, instead of the normal and NARS uh, powder but we're gonna set with that we might sit, I think we're going to sit with this first, I'm trying to decide. This is a blurring setting powder by Honest, and I really love it. It's dirty, I'm sorry. It's dirty with makeup. And then we're going to finish everything with e.l.f. HD powder, finishing powder. And that's how I get a look where we, it's as good as it can be, being that I am scarred, and I'm always going to be. Um, with the exception of special effects makeup or any laser work that can be done. You know, you can't just get rid of them. But I think if you look right now, after the Hydrovisor, it already looks smoother. So the biggest challenge right now is how do we get these colors to even out so that we can get a pretty canvas to work with. That's what you want to do. That's your goal when you have scars even out the skin tone. 
So this is what the um, Tula primer looks like. I always apply everything with the brush. I like the way it feels. I, I don't like stuff on my fingers. And you know, the long fingernails and such. And I think you will use less product using a brush. Nine out of ten times. I'm using a pretty good amount of this, though. Because I really want to blur today. I'm going to take some pictures. So, this is blurring. And I don't even really understand the tech. The, the the technology behind it. I don't know what makes it blur, but I know it does because a friend of mine um, saw me after I started using it and she kept saying, oh my gosh, what are you doing different in the podcast? Are you, did you change your makeup? Is your lighting different? What's different? What's different? What's different? And I was like, and I, and I had to think about it. The only thing that was different was that I was using this primer, blurring primer, and this blurring setting powder. So, if you're doing this with me, you've got all those items, and look at my beauty blender. Look how big it is. Do you know why it's big? Because it's wet. Because it's damp. Because I soaked it. And that's what every beauty blender you work with should be. This is what your little beauty blender looks like. And this is what it should look like when you're working with it. Dry beauty blender, wet beauty blender. Should always be wet because you don't want this thing taking your makeup off. I'm going to take Gerard Cosmetics. This is um, eyeshadow primer and concealer. I buy it on Amazon. I bought it once ever and I've had it over a year. And you just take a small brush. This is a small Morphe um, under arch eyebrow arch brush and I use it to apply this because you don't want this in your if you wear lashy brows like I do or adhesive brows um, you don't want this to get in your brows even though I'm getting really close to it and I know I'm going kind of fast take your time I've been doing this for a minute I'm getting the question a lot about you know how do I how do you hide your scars? How do you cover them? And you just, you simply don't. You learn as you go. You know, I definitely wanted to hide mine and cover them as best I could. But I learned that the only thing that was within my power was to even out my skin tone. And um, now I'm learning that using blurring products is within my powder power and it doesn't make them go away if, and it, and they it looks good in person too not just on camera you know sometimes things are made for camera work I found that when I look at myself in the mirror with the blur primer and um you know, setting powder on, it really makes a difference. When I do this, I have just put the concealer on my eyelids. Put this on my, put this uh, honest blurring powder on my eyelids to set my primer and concealer down my nose. And use the small brush. This brush is part of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collection and it's called a baking brush and I don't really bake like the same but I do set and it works really great you know that looks really great right now so what's next you say let's get our concealer on you know the blurring primer is helping to blur everything else that you put on after it which is amazing so we're going to um, do under eyes. I like to do here. I, I have a hard time under my eyes because they turn out a little bit. My lower lids, you know, they were recreated just like everything else. And I have a hard time, but it's not too bad. So the instant facelift is doing this with your lightest concealer do that 
just snatch that eye up. Look at me. Look at look at here. Look at here. Mm. Come up on your nose a little. It'll help you contour. Especially if you're, you know, like me and your nose was affected by the by your trauma. You know, I have very little actual nose, which I'll see looks like a lot because of this contour. Now, as we're putting this on our face, we're not in a hurry. It's okay for this concealer to thicken up a little. And this is not, this is really me reaching out to do new things and see if it works for our face. We'll see what it looks like when we get done because this is trending and I love the way it looks, you know, and I love the way it feels right now that I'm putting on this concealer and I don't already have a ton of foundation underneath it. And that's why I've got that very important wet beauty blender so that we can blend this all together without taking it off their face. So it's down my nose, it's on my cheeks. And then it's going to be on my chin because we want to get a light point there and I want a light point here. Right? Are you guys sold? Either way this works out, it's going to be blurred. And you're going to understand that by working with color and light, we can really make our scars so much less noticeable although they are not they they are not going to disappear bring this from your nose up here into your eye under your brow okay Just trust me on that I did not do that for the longest time and now that I've started doing it I'm obsessed with it it brings in a crease, even though I'm going to do eyeshadow. But when you do it this way, you don't even have to do eyeshadow, really. So now look what I've got. I've got a lot of light, not any darkness. Now I'm using NYX concealer right now. I ordered some Tarte concealers in about the same color just to try them out. Um but I'll go over all those with you when I get my Ulta haul this week. I'll make a video with all the new things I bought. I also bought some new foundation by Lancome um, that is full coverage and a stick, and I'm going to see. I just want to see. I want to try new things. <clears throat> I love Dermablend. It's my go-to, but not everyone likes Dermablend, so... Let's see what we can do. I work with you. Ah, it's been a terrible day, y'all. Have I mentioned that? It's terrible. And you know what feels good? Just sitting here doing what I love to do. It feels really nice. I feel like I'm missing something. Like I've got too much light right here. But I guess blush will go there. If you're a makeup artist... Don't freak out. <laughs> I do things as I wish. <laughs> so I've got my um, NARS. This is Radiant Finish Foundation. And I'm going to put this on here. Get a good kabuki brush. I'm going to put a couple of pops. And I'm going to put it right here. I do like that color on me. I don't know about y'all. I like that color. So everything's getting dry. What are we going to do about that? Well, I tell you what. We're going to uh, put a little um, put a little bit of um, setting spray on it. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to put this in here. I just want this to be part of this. I know this is not like the beautiful execution that you've seen <laughs> on TikTok. Or... <laughs> by the makeup artist. I am not a makeup artist. I am just a lady who loves makeup. I'm a makeup addict. Okay, so I think I like the way this is looking. Dabbing a little bit of the foundation in before I even start the blending process. I feel like I'm looking 
kind of pulled together, a lot more pulled together this way than if I did. I don't want to put much on the eyes because I am going to do shadow. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to do some blending because I already did. I already just went at that a little bit and blended it and I shouldn't have, but this is our Burn Survivor way. Means to an end to see is my face looking any less scarred? I don't know. You guys tell me. So I've got my beauty blender. And I actually had to squeeze the excess moisture out of it onto a towel in front of me. You let it soak and you squeeze it. But I was just letting it soak up the moisture while we go. And then start with the, with the lightest color, which is going to be right here down your nose. Start in the light area and work to the dark. I did not just spray the setting powder on here because the way this is feeling on my face is feeling very full coverage. Like it's going to be okay if I don't re-wet it because it's a little thick. And thick is good when you're trying to do full coverage. So you notice the places. I used a lot less foundation here than you would normally use or than I would normally use. Not bad. Feel a little bit bright, but we're gonna, don't worry about it. Feel like I went a little heavy on the light foundation and I ordered a little bit darker color then I have an Ulta haul coming. I ordered a little bit darker color to use in this area just for that reason. I want it to be bright, but I don't want to be like, you know, off color. I don't want to be ashen. So that little bit of um, darkness that we put right here, look at the way it's defining my eyes. I don't have eyelids like that. Not post burn. So, if uh, also if you have a, what is it called I, when you have just one lid? I don't know if it's called a mono lid or I, I'm not sure what that's called. But where it's not doubled, pulling in here, that really, that's that's creating the area where I'm gonna put my um, put my um, eyeshadow today. Now I don't know. That I'm in love with this. I feel, oh no, when I look in the mirror, I feel different than I do when I look in the lights camera action here. When I look in my makeup mirror, that looks really nice. We still, I've still got to contour. I'm not letting that go as my contour because to me, post burn survivor, contour is a super important thing to me. It really helps define areas of my face that have been beautifully replaced by the surgeons, but still can use a little bit more definition. But I think what we have right here is a pretty bad ass. Foundation. So I am going to use my... Right now, we're getting serious, and I'm going to use my Beauty Blender um, Power Puff that my friend gave me. I made a video about it. If you have not seen the video on this guy, do, because this is going to save you so much powder. And I am actually going to use it to put my Honest Blurring Powder on top. So I'm trying to see if I can get the result I want with a little different method than what I've seen. I've been watching other methods and then thinking, well, what might work for me as a burn survivor and for other? Usually what works for me works for other burn survivors too because we all have scars. <laughs> you know, whether it's the skin graft or the actual burn itself, we are scarred. And our scars tell a beautiful story 
I don't ever want to hear any one of you say that you're ashamed of yourself for having them. I, You can say you don't like them. I would never tell you not to say you don't like them. That's just being honest. <laughs> but please know that they don't define who you are. And especially if you're one of my young ones that's, you know, really just starting in life because I'm almost 50, you know, it's a lot easier for me to say, I get it, you know, um, to just move on, I, I, I totally get it, um, but just know this does not define you under any circumstance, it does not define you. So I really should have used a darker, I realized about halfway through that, that I should have used a darker color, <laughs> like all throughout here. Here, took a little bit off. I'll try to do something right here. I, this is why I never bake. It always makes me look like I have bags under my eyes. And I put that powder on and, th and left it on and forgot to take it off. And I promise you, every time I do that and leave powder for more than a couple of minutes, it makes me look like I haven't slept in years, even though I might not be sleeping that well in actuality. <laughs> makes me look terrible. But uh, anyway, if you're young, I get it. You don't have to like your scars. You know, I'm proud of mine because I'm proud of... <laughs> what has become important to me since I got my scars. I'm proud of that. And I wouldn't change that for the world. But if I could gain that knowledge without being scarred, well, then of course I would do that, right? I mean, come on. Everything is blurred right now. Now the color is light, and I'm going to have to use the NARS powder. But I'm just going to let that um, blurring powder set for a minute because I really feel like it's making a difference. What do y'all think? <laughs> I think it is. I don't know what it looks like on YouTube, but I know in person we are going to be snatched. <clears throat> I have some chocolate eyebrow powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to go in and work on my lashy brows that I have got a super lot of foundation on today. That's kind of okay. Um, I kind of had it in the back of my mind because they're a little, my brows that I'm wearing are a little bit too dark. I've been, um, you know, putting makeup on them. I wear dark brown now that I got my hair blonde, and I always used to wear natural black. But I have some natural black ones left over, and I have some black makeup, so um, I just have them too dark. So when you do yours, I want you to be really careful if you're wearing lashy brows not to get this much makeup in it. It's very hard to remove. And it has nothing to do with anything being wrong with the lashy brows or whatever. It's just that you have brows that are not part of your body that you can't really just suds them up and wash it out. You know, I always use uh, makeup wipes every night, like Olay makeup wipes, to take my, um, you know, clean my, take my makeup off and... And then the last thing I do with them is just run them across my um, brows to to clean it up because I know there's makeup and even though you try not to get the concealer in them, it's still going to get there. You know, it's still right here a little bit. It's just going to happen. I mean, it's makeup, it's hair, but I've kind of developed my own little system for dealing with it and you're going to have to do that too if you are wearing makeup the way I am and if you're 
scarred, or even if you're not, you got to have a system to your makeup, right? Even if you have no scars and you're one of my dear, sweet followers that does not carry their scars on the outside. <laughs> See how I got that? Because we all have scars. But, um, uh, you know, you still need to come up with a little plan, how you work with your makeup and stuff. So I feel like I've got really super fly coverage right here. The only thing I need to do I feel like I need to put the setting powder on um I'm just browse pretty. I mean, does that get better than that? Did you see how quickly? I mean, that was real time brows. Real time. So I want to use my NARS powder for sure because of this color variation that I have going on here where I'm a little too light and I'm a little too um, warm. Got my little brush back out again, except this time I've already used a blurring setting powder, which I really think, look at me. Does that blurring primer and blurring setting powder not make a difference? Now I'm going to put some powder, some NARS powder that matches my foundation under my eyes. I don't need to go on my eyes because I'm going to do some uh, shadow. But I'm putting it everywhere because I consider everything that I've done so far just to be my base work. And I like to use the small brush because it protects my lashy brows. I like to use it up here and down between the nose and around this area. And then I like to get my, let's get done with this already brush, <laughs> powder brush, and get done with it. You know, I don't think anybody, if you're a burn survivor and you're going to go have your makeup done and you set up a system of doing your um, foundation, I don't think there's anybody that's ever going to make you happy when they do it for you. And that's just a word of advice. Heed my advice. I feel very, very made up right now. Very heavily made up. But it is dope. <laughs> I don't always wear this much. So, it really worked. We're going to try this again. With the new makeup that I get. The new concealer and stuff. And see if I still have to come back. And do the contour that I'm about to do. With my Fenty Matchsticks. It may not be necessary. One thing I'll tell you is I really am happy with the NARS. I'm going to be using this for a while now. I'm very happy with that. And it's got good coverage and I used very little of it. Most of what I have on my face right now is full coverage concealer. And it's just by NYX. So here is um, Truffle by Fenty Matchsticks. Always come up. Everything is a lift, isn't it? Then get some right up here. For my round face, this works great. And I'll also try to make myself a little jawline. Right? It's a lot of blending. <laughs> and then I come in here with the side of this. nose again. Then I'm going to come across here. I am making myself a nose, y'all. A little bit under the bottom lip. The, I love art and I love makeup as an art. I don't know. I never thought of being a makeup artist. I don't know why. 
I am light up here. And we are going to blend. And this Pro Sculptor brush by Beauty Junkies that I just love, that I got on Amazon. Again, we start with the white. Right? Start with the light. Go down my nose. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to go under my eyes. I did another instant facelift there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that dark go. I love the way matchsticks blend. You know, you've got it's so such a dramatic contour, I think. But it just blends in so nice. And I really want to blend this kind of down away from my hairline. I really want to create a shadow here. I kind of want to blend it both ways, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I really want it to get up close to my hairline and I want it to come down a little bit because I'm feeling kind of light and this is how we correct this you know I mean I could re-record this and have it come out perfect but in the real world it doesn't come out perfect and you got to know how to fix it so here we are blending away until we fix it matchsticks are the only contour I've used, or the first contour I used, I'm sorry, that weren't, um, that wasn't powder, because I was so intimidated by contour. I had never worn it before I got burned, but as I kept doing my makeup without it, I kept realizing more and more that I needed it. I needed to define my face more. My face wasn't naturally as defined as it had been in the past. And then I realized just the beauty of it for everyone. Because my daughter, she's just gorgeous. And she's always contoured her face. And um, it just always looks so pretty. <laughs> Hope y'all can see it. I don't like the way the color is on the... Uh, that was a really ridiculous time to change the lighting. But look, you see that? What? That color is good. I feel like this looks really, really super pretty. So can we hide our scars? Yes. No, we cannot. Can we even out our skin tone? And, you know, these days, evening out our skin tone is so much more, really, than just trying to create one color. You saw all the different depth and color that I just tried to create in my face. And I hope you can see it where it's brighter here, you know, and, you know, then tanner, and then all the things we did to our face here. But are the scars still there? Yeah. They're always going to be. Are you still beautiful? Yeah. You're always going to be. Super duper beautiful. This is Morphe uh, Broncho bronzer and a bronzer brush. I use different bronzer brushes just depending on how I feel that day. They're all by Morphe. Some are different shapes. This one is just a good, standard, any face bronzer brush. And I want to get up in here, you see? I don't want it to be light up in here. All right, look at that bronzer. So we want the bronzer to go everywhere that the sun should kiss our face when we're outside. Everywhere it should hit us. All right? Where should it hit us? Definitely hits us up here. That definitely looks pretty. I have some Pat McGrath. I have a blush palette. Um, this I use. I like to use this darker blush. This could be used as contour easily. 
I don't think I need it today. I just want to do the blush. I want to start like right about right in the blue middle of my eye. I love to do like bridal blush. <laughs> so it's thin and just not too much. Um, it works better for my face the way it is now. It Look at your face and determine how you want your blush to be. A lot of people go are up in here and um, I just don't want to be like right now where I am. I don't want to be there. I think I got a little too far in there. I got a little too far down. See, I want it to come around. So a lot of times you'll see a lot up in here. But I don't like that. I like it to be like a bride. It's very, very pretty. I don't know if I've talked about it, but one of those important things, you know, my face was done twice. And the scars are what they are. Um, but ultimately, they're they're a nice story of survival and of triumph. You know, I I won. <laughs> Let's get some uh, highlighter. The only thing I'm gonna have left to do, I'm, I'm using a pencil that is also good. See how we create a nose? That is also good for putting a little shadow right in here. Like, say, if you were done with your face right here and you didn't want to wear eyeshadow. A little highlight right in here. I try to make my nose look bigger, so I'm not down with y'all that are trying to make it look a little bit skinnier. <laughs> I'm trying to look like I have more nose. But you guys know how to do it. There's lots of ladies doing that that you go look at for to make your nose look skinnier. I'm going to keep making mine look like a... The biggest old nose I can find. Look at look. <laughs> I'm gonna make it look great. I couldn't not address, you know, like what? How do we hide our scars? Because we just don't. When you look at me, you're always, always, always seeing the scars. You know what you're doing though? You're not noticing them. You're looking at me as a person because you know me and that's how people are going to look at you. You're going to walk into the room and you're going to know you own it. Just like you used to. Just because you got some scars does not mean that you don't still own the room. When you walk in, I want you to know exactly who you are and that is how you're going to deal with your scars this is my um, uh, bronzer blush brush so my face is done except for a little bit of eyeshadow so let's take a closer look let's get as close as I can there are scars oh it's not done I forgot to do one very important step that I am really obsessed with okay <laughs> Um, I normally would do this before I do my, um, highlighter, so I'm going to stay away from that, but this is the, uh, e.l.f. HD Finishing Powder. Man, I love this stuff. It's just like magic. And the way I normally use it is to put some on the brush when I remove my setting powder, I apply this HD powder. What? Did you see the difference I just made? What? So, no filters. Burn Survivor. I'm feeling beautiful. And remember that it all starts on the inside. I love makeup. But there's not enough of it in the world to make you pretty. If you're feeling kind of ugly inside, just kind of ugly, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you're feeling a little ugly on the inside, there's not enough to fix it. But y'all are not feeling that way. But look, you saw how, how scarred I began. Get some color in your face, even out your skin tone, and go slay. You got it? 
Whatever you're going through, please remember that this too shall pass. Remember to check the products below and hit subscribe. Help me grow and help me show other people how to do this, how to get through. Thank y'all so much. This too shall pass. Bye-bye.